Alright guys, we're about to leave the harbor here. I've got a bag full of Lingcock carcasses from yesterday, as well as a bag full of uh, jack's melt that I caught yesterday. And I'm gonna go ahead and start baiting up these guys here on the way over. We have about a 20 minute drive to uh, where I wanna drop these pots and go fishing. So, bit of a long drive. We'll uh, try and be productive along the way and fill up these pots. So anyways, let's get out there and not waste any more time. Poor jet ski getting towed in right now. Maybe he ran out of fuel or something. All right guys, we got to the crabbing grounds. It took about half an hour. We're gonna go ahead and get the conical hoop net set up and in the water first, because I think it actually matters to have a longer soak on these guys. I'll grab a bait bag here and just hook it in, hook her into the bottom. First one going down, it looks nice, flat and sandy here. This is a completely new spot for me. I have no idea if there's any crab here. I don't see any, I see one string of buoys and that's the only string I've seen for the last mile. So yeah, if there are crab here, I'm gonna be the only one getting them. But anyways, we'll make this waypoint. 96 is what we're working with. So, all right, first one's in. All right guys, second one going over. Third and final one going in. All right guys, we just got to the reef that I want to fish and I'm tying on another eight inch swim bait. Brand new, I got four brand new ones out with me today and that should last me for the rest of the season. We're gonna troll into the wind and into the current and then we're gonna drift back with the current going for rockfish, but for now, let's see if we can get a lean in the boat. Just, whew, now we wait, now we wait. We're looking for a big mama out here, okay? We're looking for, the big ones are supposed to come in during the winter for breeding. So, it's December right now. It's as close to the winter as we're allowed to fish. And we're on, we're on something here. size. I'll move you guys over to this side. I'm trying to shake it. He's trying to shake it. There he is. Well, that looks like a keeper to me. Little keepsies. Little keepsy keepsy. All right, here we go. Perfect gaff shot. We can even release him if we need to, but that looks like a keeper. Smaller keeper, but keeper nonetheless. All right, folks, let's get out this measuring board. Give him a measure here. There we go, there we go, there we go. 24 incher, right there is 24. Mouth closed, 24 inches, maybe 24 and a quarter or so. But look at that beauty. Uh, hopefully the, well the lighting is behind me, but oh well. There we go guys, uh, beautiful lingcod. I know, I know you can't see that well, well. Maybe that helps, but there you guys go. Beautiful lane. We're gonna dispatch it, bleed it, and uh, we're gonna hop back in and try and get a second one real quick here. All right, guys, we got a bloody deck now. That took 10 minutes. That took 10 minutes. I will release the uncut footage if you don't believe me. So I came out yesterday with uh, my friend Steve, and he's got an Old Town kayak. I gave him one of these swim baits, told him to troll around one to one and a half miles an hour, and he did catch a link on an 18 inch shirt but not a keeper for him, unfortunately. But next time he comes out, he'll know exactly, you know. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, guys. <laughs> I told you. I, that was two minutes, guys. That was two minutes. That was only two minutes. Yeah, again, a keeper. Oh, gosh. Well, no big mamas for us today, but we don't have too much time to hunt around for them. So we're gonna take our Erling limit here, folks. Got another good one. I'm telling you guys, this is the ticket. All right, I know I'm gonna be releasing all this footage in 2023, but if you guys aren't fishing like this, by 2024, you have no more excuses. Look at this butte. This is a 25 incher for sure. No doubt about it. We're gonna put it out of his misery and then we'll measure him. That was the quickest ling limit. I could uh, 
submit this footage as the quickest lane limit. This is 13 minutes and rolling, and there you go. Another lane. Let's get a measure on him. Uh, this guy's a little bit bigger than the last one. What was the last one? 24? This one's almost 26. Here's 26 right here. So about 25 and 7 eighths, 3 quarters, something like that. Another butte. We'll get him on this trainer. And guys, that is the quickest lane limit I've ever gotten. 14 minutes from when I turned on the camera. That'll do it for me. I'm going to uh, float around and drift for the next 20 minutes. I'm gonna tie on like this little guy or like a shrimp fly rig and go for some rockfish. All right, again, guys, because there's too many lings out here, I keep catching them. I wanna help you guys catch them so that the, it's harder, you know, more of a challenge. No, I'm just playing, guys. You know there's days I come out here, I don't catch anything, but uh, this is what did it in. Honestly, the color doesn't seem to matter that much, but what I will say is this color I did catch the most on, but the big caveat here is that this is the color I think is gonna perform well, so I throw this way more often. And it's this like chartreuse with sparkles and then a brown top on it. To me, this looks a lot like a kelp green ling. And kelp green ling is an amazing bait to use for big ling cod. So I would say, give this colorway a shot. The other colors are that I chose are to imitate rockfish, so. Well, here's actually another kelp green ling imitation. You can see it's a little different. It's not as translucent, but I, it's got a red belly on it, but I actually like this one. It looks more like a healthy fish. This one looks more like a dying fish. And then I've got two brown ones as well. One with a red belly and brown sparkle and one with like a green. This one honestly looks more like a kelp green ling too, but this one's definitely like a brown rockfish or something. Again, I've caught lanes on all these colors. I'll bet if you throw a white, black, purple, blue, you'll catch them too. So. Honestly, what really matters is you want to keep that bait moving. You want a moving bait because the lane cod are they're predators, right? So they want they want the freshest meat and they're they're hiding in their little holes or their ambush spots and they're waiting for a fish to swim by. So nice little easy meal like this, just swimming around. This is exactly what they want. I don't catch near as many lanes just jigging for rockfish. When I'm catching lanes, I'm usually moving. So Give it a shot. I'm not telling you that's the, the only thing that's gonna work out here, but it's working really well for me. The one problem with this is that it's really good at catching 24 inch lanes. And I really wanted to go for some giant mamas today, but I don't wanna mess around with live bait and I can't really get any, any lure bigger than this. So what I'm throwing now is a five inch. <laughs> it's, it's a smaller version of this. So instead of eight inch, it's a five inch. And instead of six ounces, it's only two ounces, or maybe one and a half even. And that's like the perfect size for rockfish. Again, I'm trying to go for quality over quantity on the rockfish here, but it's been a slow year for rockfish. Great for lanes, but rockfish, I don't know. All right, guys, we're on something. Honestly, it feels like a ling cod, to be, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, look at that. Not, actually, not a keeper. This is like a, 21 incher oh barely hooked but yeah there you guys go i guess this place is swarming with lings and no uh nothing else oh gosh oh. well screw this up i just want to get a measure on them for you guys this is what like an 18 incher 20 a 20 incher not too bad let's throw him back though before he causes any more damage. I guess that just proves to show the the difference in bait size matters, but swim baits are slaying the lings out here. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tie on the high-low rig with the underwater camera, and I wanna get a fish on the underwater camera because we got, we, we're out here, guys. We out here. Let's get some footage. Let's get some fun footage. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, it's even worse now. Ah. All right. <laughs> We're close to where I caught that lane, so this should be pretty insightful. All right, guys, now in this underwater footage, it's actually a little bit different than other rock fishing footage I've seen. Here you can see there's a ling cod, but we don't see that many fish throughout this. I, I was down there for maybe 15 minutes or so. We see a ling cod, 
we see this one rogue rockfish, which I'm not exactly sure what kind it is, maybe a Picasso or something like that, but um, it wasn't that big uh, nonetheless, and it didn't really seem interested in their bait. You can really see what the ground looks like, what I'm working with here. It's more like gravel with scattered rocks than a true traditional reef. It turns out that's okay for lingcod, but rockfish, not a whole lot of life down there. So unfortunately, we didn't actually get a hookup on the underwater camera, but still cool to see. All right, guys, let's go check on those crab pots. Hopefully this footage was interesting for you. I know it certainly helps me. All right, guys, pot number one, let's see what's in it. There's nothing here, guys. Not a single crab. All right, guys, not holding my breath for these next two, but if they have crab, maybe we'll drop in the area. But otherwise, I think we're gonna move the pots closer to the harbor and go fish some different reefs. Cause this one over here didn't have any rockfish anyways. All right, guys, here's pot number two. All right, this one has a couple rockfish in it, but again, still not what we're looking for here. We're not having luck so far, so we're moving them. All right, here, this is a conical one. I've got high hopes for it. Just one rock crab. We don't want rock crab today. Whew. All right, finally got this guy unhooked. He's going over. Good sized rock crab, but we don't want any of those today. All right, let's go move these pots. Promar going in first. All right, guys, now one of the hoop nets. And then the very last one. Waypoint 101, how to catch crab 101. Let's go. Let's go see if we can find a couple rockfish. If not, maybe we'll just scout out. I've been meaning to look for halibut, but it's not really the season for him anymore. Honestly, the weather is really choppy over here. This area is not as protected, so it gets more wind. And it's really making a difference over here, but this, these are the conditions I normally fish in. It's just such a nice day close to the shore. Check it out, guys, another portabout with three people on board. That poor the boat uh, had three people on it. That's a lot of people for this boat, guys. Luckily, today's calm and uh, wasn't too much of a problem. But yeah, three people on a rough day, don't try it. Two people's all right, though. Two people make it work. Let's go check on those crab pots. I'm getting real tired of pulling these hoop nets. I would love if we could use our crab trap. All right. Guys, nothing, nothing at all, nothing in this one. Every time I use premium bait, premium fresh, never frozen bait, they hate it, guys. Guys, just like the world's smallest crab again. Let's we'll see what the Promar holds for us. Hopefully at least one. All right, guys, it's like the last hope pot here. I'm gonna need about 10 keepers in this one. Okay, this one always feels heavier, but it's feeling extra heavy now. I think we've got a crab. My hunch was right. And he's gonna keep for sure, guys. For sure gonna keep. Let's get some of these small ones out. Like this little guy, he can go. Oh, this girl can go. Really? Ah, oh, short, small claw. Had to regrow it, it looks like. But yeah, right on the money. What is that? Just over six, six and an eight or so. There we go. First crab, but as you can see, this claw here, a little small. Pot's going right back in. Only one catching crab. That's what I feared. The, the conical shape helps so much. I gotta see what I can do to the other pot to make it fish better. All right, guys, since we're not catching any rockfish, we're gonna do some halibut fishing. Got this little halibut rig with an eight ounce ball and then a uh, uh, dead, what is this, a jack smelt for bait. 
try it out since I'm over in the sand anyways and I want to pull these pots like two or three more times each before I head in that way I can hopefully get a couple crab but uh, yeah no more rockfish for today it wasn't wasn't happening but if I can catch a halibut I'll be very happy because I've never caught an oceanside halibut I'm talking about ladies and gentlemen we got a real gauge buster there and three keepers I think oh look at this gauge buster right here look at the massive massive legs on that bad boy her shorts a female look at that some crab are really good at using their legs to claw into you anyways I think holding them upside down helps like cool them out not the biggest crab we'll see oh yeah that's almost a six incher actually just missing a well he's regrowing that claw and he's missing this one but there's gonna be a lot of body meat in this guy and check the legs nice and hard so we got this guy he's super feisty so hopefully he doesn't fight too much with that other crab we got in there there's number two. Oh, holy smokes this is a chumbo look at that gauge buster right there unbelievable humongous crab and honestly I think the next one's even better this crab's a little muddy but oh my goodness he's got some serious weight to him oh gosh look at that that's insane all right guys look at that gauge buster insane right insane this thing is like a two and a half pound crab I'm not even kidding obviously this one's going back in over a two-day period we have one in two regular hoop nets and four no three yesterday plus another three just now six in this promar and i caught limits in two promars like these things hold crab really really well I feel my hands at this point. Nothing. Nothing. My shoes are completely soaked through. My toes, what toes? I can't feel them. All right guys, this is it. My last chance for crab. The last pull of the day. I love these Promars. Look at that. Two. One of them's a keeper. Oh, he keeps. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. This is the smallest possible it could be and still keep. Check this out guys. Can you see that? Hopefully you can see that it just, it just stops it. Guys, I'm just like triple checking here and like, yeah, it stops it. So it, I don't think it counts or I think, I think it's legal, but man, it is, it is so close. Hopefully you guys can see like it does stop it it's just it's real on the line sometimes you can like wiggle them if it's like i don't know a little off but it counts it counts all right this one's a jumbo though see another six incher right there all right let's go guys that brings our total up to six for today we got half a dozen crab and we got two beautiful link cards we're gonna fillet up the link cards um when we get back to the dock and then we're gonna take home the crab we're gonna boil them all and I think I'm gonna freeze them, take them home, maybe give some out at work. But yeah, some beautiful crab. All 
All right, guys, really quickly, just wanted to show you how you can easily store and transport the, uh, the conical hoop nets and other hoop nets if you have a conical hoop net, is if you just turn the conical hoop net upside down, it, uh, it kind of acts like a bowl, and then you can put, you can stack the, co the cone-shaped ones that way, or you can even put these uh, normal ring, two ring ones in here as well, and that way they're not like flying around and everything, so it's just an easy way to store everything together. Oh, this soccer ball floating in the water. This is just a good reminder that if you see trash floating out there, please grab it and just throw it away at the boat ramp. Not that big of a deal. This one, unfortunately, I'm gonna throw it away, but it looked like it had some life left. I don't know, maybe if I see someone who lost a soccer ball as I'm walking by, maybe they'll be easy to spot. But anyway, let's get in. Thanks for watching, guys. This one was a pleasure. Caught six crab, that's not too bad, and a ling limit. Anyways, let's, uh, let's get in got a lot to do in the next couple hours so thanks for watching go out there and get yourself some crabs bye now